I now invite the Honorable Thring. Thank you, Honorable House Chairperson. I wish to make it abundantly clear that the World Health Organization's two instruments, the proposed pandemic agreement and amendments to the international health regulations are nothing short of an autocratic dictatorial move towards a one world government seeking to erode the sovereignty of independent nations. The ACDP believes that the proposed pandemic treaty read with the amendments to the international health regulations will set humanity into a new era that is strangely organized around pandemics. A new governance structure under WHO auspices will oversee the international health regulation amendments and related activities. It will rely on new funding requirements, including the WHO's ability to demand additional funding and materials from countries and to run a supply network to support its work in health emergencies as seen under Article 12. The WHO's attempt to limit freedom of speech such, such as contained in Annex year 1, Article 5E relating to counter misinformation and disinformation is nothing other than a censoring of unofficial views in order to protect the WHO from what they call information integrity. This is not acceptable and certainly a breach of our constitutional rights. Some of the many articles in the controversial two instruments include giving the WHO's Director General the power to unilaterally declare a public health emergency in any country without the country's agreement. In the UK Parliament, the Honorable Philip Davies warned that we are talking about a top-down approach to global public health hardwired into international law. At the top of that top-down approach, we have our single source of truth on all things pandemic, the World Health Organization's Director General, who it appears will have the sole authority to decide when and where these regulations will and can be deployed. Secondly, whether a real or potential health emergency that the country would have, the country would have a mere 48 hours to respond or explain or face the consequences, including sanctions. And thirdly, who will have the power to require mandatory pharmaceutical products, including quarantines. The African Christian Democratic Party does not call for government to stop negotiations as the minister, deputy minister indicated, but demands that it will not agree to any international health regulation amendments that would compromise South Africa's ability to make its own domestic decisions on national public health. The ACDP has recorded its formal objections to the international health regulatory amendments to the World Health Organization and call on all political parties and South Africans to reject the WHO's power grab under the guise of pandemic preparedness. Thank you.